for three. Bingo! Morant, a step back three. Bingo! Ice water in his veins. After he hits one close to James Harden, tell that expletive, expletive about me. I just feel like everybody put their shoes and stuff on the same way I do. So it's no reason to be afraid of anybody. Come back, boys. You don't really got a choice. I am honest. You can hear it in my voice. John Harden Imano. Imano. You can't roll around unless you want to bust it. They've made a decision. It comes down to this. James Harden and Russell Westbrook. We going small ball. Then this small ball lineup work. We're going to make it work. Harden with a step back three. Got it. Going one on one for three. And Harden hits it. Step back three. You bet. He's got the hot hand here. Oh, my. Harden to Westbrook, who climbed the ladder and punched it. I'm just out there to play basketball and try to win games. What's good, people? Welcome in to Hoop Streams. We're live on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and the ESPN app. I'm Christine Williamson, here joined by my friends, Omar Raja and Gary Streisky, a.k.a. Kimchi Poppy. Why are you yelling at me? Because I was trying to do like, <laughs> pew, 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 like we're in the club, you Horn, know? <laughs> horn, horn. I feel no really, effects. I feel very welcomed. Omar was like, oh, Gary, I'm going to sit right next to you. Yes. Like, right next to you. Two I really feet appreciate away. that. It's very hospitable. Thank yeah, you for I welcoming me to my arm around, around you and everything while I'm sick. Even though this dude just said he was sick, but yeah. that's all good. I got that. <laughs> no big deal. Old man uh, immune system, so we'll be all right. That's exactly why I'm over here. Okay. So, there was a pretty good slate of games last night. Starting with the Lakers versus the Pelicans, it was a highly anticipated matchup. We're going to look at some things that happened last night. Ooh. Starting with LeBron James versus Zion Williamson. This was a pretty big deal, was it not? I love how everybody sort of build this as like the washed king, 35-year-old King James against the 19-year-old Zion Williamson. Of course, that's what everybody came to watch. But yo, the Pelicans are sneaking up to an eighth seed. So this just wasn't like a gimmick game of Zion versus LeBron. The Pelicans are trying to play some good hoops to get into the playoffs, to take on the Lakers in the first round of said playoffs. Could LeBron you, didn't want that to happen, though. Could you imagine, though, that first round series of Zion Williamson versus LeBron James? I mean, is it a big deal? Is it really as big yes. of a deal as we're making it? It would be amazing to see Zion versus LeBron. As it sits right there, though, LeBron said, no, 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 this ain't a that, big deal. Matter of fact, it's such not a big deal. Why don't you go ahead and hand me to those Twizzlers? They're not even a good candy. I don't care if it's a red vine, if it's a Twizzler. It was a red vine. Regardless. Um, I'm it was sorry. a red vine. Both of them. Trash. Twizzlers are bomb. LeBron trying to make a scene, eating red vines and Twizzlers. That's, come on, LeBron, you're LeBron. Don't be eating that food. That's like bottom of the shelf at the movie theater food. Come on. What, what's your go-to thing at the movie theater then? I like Milk Duds. Really? Yeah, I'm, I'm a Milk Duds guy. You cannot be talking, and that's like the <laughs> bot. I've never had Milk Duds in my about? entire life. In my entire milk, life, I've never had Milk Duds. Milk Duds get stuck in your teeth way too much. It's not, no, it's not, I'm not with it. Y'all are hating. But Twizzlers are bomb. Uh, I did want to ask a question. Zion Williamson, 19 years old, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Gary, what were you doing when you were 19? Oh, dang. Uh, what was I doing, man? I was living at home. I had a couple roommates, uh, my mom and my dad. Um, <laughs> and my, I had three roommates, my mom, my dad, and my sister. Um, and I was, I was stacking bread literally every single day, mainly because I was a bank teller. I was counting money. Uh, I was counting I money you every day. Sandwiches. That wasn't mine. Yeah. I was just handing it to people. I was a teller at US Bank. Shout out to US Bank. I was making ten fifty an hour back in the day. That was That's cake. Sick. That's real. And I didn't even have to pay rent. It's pretty sick. Well, <laughs> I, Omar, I, I was trying to do you? the highlights thing on Instagram. I was trying to post all these highlights on Instagram. But what I was really doing was I was posting YouTube videos on like Madden and being like, hey, if you guys want to be good at Madden, try audibling, audibling to a run play. And it would get a thousand views and then nobody would watch it. And I thought I'd be a YouTube superstar. But it never really panned out. And look so. at you now, two years later, you're doing ESPN. hoops, teams, right? Two years. Yeah. That it's insane. only been two. He's 21. Ain't uh, that insane? <laughs> what about you? Don't be a grill. Yeah. Um, what were you doing 19 three years ago? When I was 19, three years ago, you're right. Uh, I was playing volleyball at University of Miami. Go Canes. Oh, sick. All right. Play volleyball. <laughs> Looks like I, I was the I only one getting, getting I, money. I, I for University of Miami, though. <laughs> yes, I told you this before. He doesn't okay. listen to anything I say. All right, let's talk about uh, Alex Caruso versus Lonzo Ball because this is absolutely embarrassing. Oh. I, I just think, listen, he's one of the most underrated players when it comes to highlights, and I'm biased because at this game, he said to me, what up, Omar, after the game? So, I'm Wait, a little biased. At this game? Oh, no, the game before. My oh, bad. I on was Sunday. Like, you were there Sunday. last night. I and apologize. You're here. But listen, he, I think he's the best player for the Lakers coming off the bench. Seriously, I, I wouldn't go Rondo off the bench. I would go Caruso first. He was one of the thousand people watching you on YouTube. He was like, dude, Omar yeah. told me to audible, and yeah. I'm going to audible. I just won. 
Um, and realistically, this dude's awesome. He had a plus 20 last night. Yeah. Nobody on the Lakers had a better plus minus than him, obviously coming off the bench. But every single time he is on the court, and you can already tell LeBron James trusts him, whether the chemistry is, you know, the through the legs, uh, the, the follow dunk. As he goes, so do the Lakers, which is incredible to say, yeah. right? Because it's LeBron, it's Anthony Davis, but don't sleep on Crusoe. They don't miss a beat when he's on the court. And it's crazy to think, because not just offensively, but this dude brings a presence on the defensive yeah, end, yeah. disrespecting uh, Lonzo Ball. Ball. That's like sort of that grit, that Texas grit that the team doesn't have, because it's all LA, it's Hollywood, it's stars, it's famous. But then you got the Aggie. Alex Caruso coming off the bench eating. What do you think of the headband? Does it make sense when you have that type of hairline to have a headband? Oh, wow. Yeah, I think it's sexy. I mean, I feel like if you're bald, personally as a bald person, I feel like if you're bald, that's what you need to keep the sweat out of your face. You speak from experience? Yeah, oh. that's, exactly, that's exactly why you put it. That's I didn't know there was a old. technical use to headbands. <laughs> Yo, I'm learning today, for real. <laughs> that headband, keep the sweat out your face. That headband is screaming for more fabric, though, because that sucker is tight. Like, it's suffocating <laughs> his brain. Like, for real. He's like... Oh, I need more oxygen, but I like the look. I do okay. like the look. I think it's fire. And you, our boss, Mike Foss, he went down this this rabbit, rabbit hole. hole. This it, it seemed like a Reddit rabbit hole that like he's channeling this evil this evil person, right? Because he turns the it backwards, the logos in the back, and he was like referencing he was nerding evil, out, basically. Evil superpowers and comic books. Yeah, yeah. It was terrifying. To Apparently, be. Was saying that, yeah. superheroes, when they wear their suits backwards, it means they are evil, and that's what Alex Caruso was doing, especially in that play against Lonzo Ball. We got to get to Raptors Bucks. Let's go. Right? I got these for the mascot, you know what I'm saying? They can't just... We have our own belts, too. talking about this a little bit i know you love drake it's your favorite uh but he's i also lame, mm. but he's <laughs> no, cool. no i'm gonna take over then <laughs> i'm gonna take over then he's, because he's we lame. talked about this i'm gonna try on my horse voice we're tired of the bucks doing the wwe thing oh, yeah, and drake saw the video against the wizards where he's like you know what this is so like over the top uh -huh, uh -huh. we're done with it so drake it was a smart guy. He had his two security guards, so that was kind of lame. But other than that, <laughs> the whole execution with all the belts, he had a belt for the mascot as well. Uh -huh. He was like, this ain't the Wizards. Robin Lopez, you're not going to do nothing. And nothing <laughs> happened. He Hold was on. generous. And we got a better video <laughs> compared to all the out. bad videos Time we've got the last two months. <laughs> what was the result of the game? The, Bucks the Raptors won. The Raptors took an L at home. Yeah, That's yeah. fine. So Drake needs to pick and choose his spots. I love Drake just as much as you. Well, not just as much as you. I you said you that, that you would sacrifice my hands yeah. for one day of friendship with no, Drake. No, so no, no. I appreciate that. <laughs> complete, I, I, I said complete oh, lifetime. Hey, nice. I'd be a lifetime friend. <laughs> lifetime Basically, friend. Basically, I said, that's fine, Omar, because I'd get super duper good at soccer. None of those dudes use their In hands. In one day? Go ahead and take my hands, <laughs> playboy. That's all good. I got feet and legs. But what I'm trying to say is Drake needs to pick his spots. When he was telling one of the low press brothers, Others, I still get him confused. Mm -hmm. This ain't the Wizards. Robin. He needs to be looking at the mirror because the Raptors, this ain't the Wizards, bro. These are the Bucks who have lost eight times all year, only five times on the road. They're blowing out teams by 12 and a half points everywhere they go. Pick and choose your battles. I know this was the Eastern Conference Finals rematch, mm -hmm. but like. But who won last year? Exactly. That's the thing. The Bucks <laughs> have that taste in their mouth. You think Giannis is going to let that happen again? Hell no. All I'm know. saying is when it comes playoff time, I guarantee you, if Drake comes chirping in the hallways, yeah. his boy Lowry's going to be like, hey, hey bro, <laughs> you got to chill, bro. Just like. Just like chill. <laughs> Just please stop it. Just please stop. Uh, yes. Yeah, I promise of, you. Robin of, Lopez is going to end our careers. Speaking of Kyle Lowry, what the heck is this? This was man amazing. Because I honestly, I truly, uh, I truly I, cannot imagine what was going through his mind the, when he decided to do this. Nick Nurse knew exactly what he was trying to do. <laughs> the thing He's is, like, he, wow. thought, he thought he was like 5'8, like Nate Robinson. Did that. Did. Like, George Hill is just as tall as you, Kyle Lowry. Because what are you doing? George Hill is 6'3, Kyle Lowry is 6 foot. When Nate Robinson like, did that, Look at George Hill's seven, face. Like, what are you doing, bro? It, like, it what are you no trying sense. to do? It made absolutely sense. Bro, stand no up. Sense. Stand up. All right, I'm 5'8. <laughs> stand up. But, okay. like, play a defensive position. I feel like I'm, I'm six foot. <laughs> <laughs> what the execution? That actually was really good. Yeah, I, I feel like if it was executed so like all that, I'm trying to fine. all I'm trying to say is that's not as crazy as people want to make it sound it like on the internet. It looked awful. 
We're on the internet every day, and that's the thing that we're going to complain about? Kyle Lowry just trying to make a move between George Hill's legs? Are you kidding me? That was incredible. No, what you just did was incredible. That, that was hey, incredible. Real talk, that was kind of smooth. Yeah, I, I was like, I don't know where this is going, man. <laughs> that was not playing smooth. that. This is also the guy who took an unprecedented, not one, but two charges in an all-star game. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we should yeah. expect this Can sort of gamesmanship from Kyle Lowry. I applaud you, sir. But check the tape and do it like me next time. <laughs> it has been done before, but the question is, Kyle Lowry, who the heck do you think you are? Kyle Lowry. <laughs> <laughs> That's who. Strike to claim it. A strike to claim it. And he got it! Years ago today, Pete Weber won his fifth U.S. Open title and gave us that wonderful, beautiful, very strange gem of a quote. Who do you think you are? I am. You call it strange? If you close your eyes or take him out of that setting, that's every single dad <laughs> after mowing the lawn. And Who do you think you are? I am. I am John Deere. I am Hux Carvana or whatever that. I am the Toro King. That's literally every suburban dad mowing the lawn. But he didn't say he was anything. He just said, I am. How do you come up with this? Like, how do you come up with that? <laughs> Brain works in mysterious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Omar. yeah. Omar's mind is blown. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, mowing, you, mowing the lawn? You know what he's trying to say. You think you're a BA? I don't know what we're allowed to say. What? It's on Snapchat, we can say whatever we want. <laughs> you think you're tough? You're not, but I am. You think you're the best bowler in the world? You're not, I am. I get you, Pete Webber. Maybe it's just like an old guy thing, and I am an old guy. Maybe it's just like that, that we exactly, connect on that, that level. Exactly. Yeah, I guess. But I feel him. I feel that's, Pete Dubs. That's exactly what, what <laughs> I have no idea what he was saying <laughs> at all. Still to this day, okay. your explanation didn't Eight help years later. at all. Yeah. <laughs> so it for that matter. reason, we're going to play a little game called Who Do You Think You Are? I Am, and okay. we're going to finish the sentence. Okay. Starting off with this pickup legend. Dude, this he got soft. handles for <laughs> freaking days. <laughs> I've never seen this in my whole entire life. The dribble goes up to his face, which is wild because he's also very quick with it. He is every NBA free agent. Like, I imagine Lance Stevenson right now going to a pickup gym and, sh and crossing people up like that. I've seen him at the Sky Gym, and I've seen him play random people, and he's doing the whole nutmeg. He's What's the thing where you take your, the basketball and, like, throw it at their face? Like he it? loves faking everybody out. It's... It's, it's every NBA free agent. I'm going to wow. take it one step further. Forget about NBA free agents. That move right there reserved for NBA All-Stars. Do you know who just did that? Luka Doncic. <laughs> that dude was saucy with the handles. Yeah. Can we cue up the video of Luka doing that against the Magic, like, just the other day? Baller. Okay, that's the main that's, shot. That's but upon bunny. further review, my dude came down the court, same exact position, through the legs back. behind the back, Ooh. step back, create the clearance. And splash, we're in a water park. Uh, that dude saw it. You posted it on uh, Sports, Sports Center's Center. Instagram. And he was like, you know what? I'm going to try that at the next <laughs> open run at the church on Thursday. And he did, and he splashed. <laughs> you got to church, church on Thursday? You got to church on Thursday? When the gym's open, yeah. But, but the thing is, would you want to play with a guy like that or no? Yeah. You, wanna, you want that guy to be your teammate? It's a coin flip, right? That's the thing. You want him to be a coin flip, but he's you're also, he's also the guy. If you miss one shot, come on, I'm all over yeah. it, dude. Pass me the ball. Pass me. He's that guy. Yeah. And he's also the reckless guy who you don't want to d up because his elbows are just yeah. super reckless. You don't want them in your face. Uh, would you want to play with this next guy, this dunk phenom? Oh. Cause he got bunnies. Yeah. I don't even. This guy's kind of short too. I'm not gonna lie. He looks like he's about five ten. Yo, I got am got Zach Levine. Like there, this is the only other dunker that I've seen do that. And I honestly, honestly, honestly think that they should incorporate some of these, I don't know if it's influencers or dunk contests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hoopers yes. on Instagram oh, or on Twitter, be, wherever. Yeah. And have, it doesn't have to be all five of them, just one person Fact. every year. Fact. You think they should go up against the NBA players in the dunk contest? Yes. I'm 100%. 1, really? I'm 100%. I feel like they should have, a, they could have a separate one, but no. I, he ain't. These are NBA players. So we were just at All-Star Weekend. By the way, uh, this is, I don't know who you are, but I am aroused after seeing that. <laughs> because for dudes who can't touch the rim, like, well, I used to be able to touch the rim. Again, I'm an old guy. Have you ever been no, able to touch the rim? No. Um, I like I, how you said dudes. I used to be able to touch the rim, too. Thank you. You can okay. touch the rim. Yes. Back in the day. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever been able to yam it? Nah. Okay, yeah, see? So for dudes <laughs> who are able to dunk the rock, you guys don't know how much power you hold, how much clout that you actually have. True. So I'm aroused after seeing that. But I did ask the dunkers in the contest, the Aaron Gordons of the world, uh, Derek Jones Jr., all of those guys, if it's more pressure to them 
because social media, because the Hoopers oh, are yeah. seeing on Twitter, mm -hmm. and because the Hoopers are seeing on Instagram, and of course Aaron Gordon, Derek Jones are like, yo, but I'm like one of the best dunkers like on the planet. That's why I'm in the league, which is obviously the gigantic distinction. But like yeah. vertically with no defense on you, I would 100% love to see those dunkers in the contest because that's all they practice. Yes. They don't practice shooting. They don't practice yeah. defense. They don't practice passing. All they practice is dunking. And could you imagine one of those dudes getting full tense minus D Wade, probably give him a six. <laughs> so like having a 46 <laughs> yeah. and That'd then the pressure That'd of like a pro hooper having to out dunk a dude on the internet? Yeah. That's wild. That'd That's too sick. wild. But like, think about this. If a pro dude gets beaten by a man on the street, Love what does it. that do for the NBA? I feel like it's like, it's Get, icky. No, no. Nah, if you can incorporate TikTok people, then you can incorporate dunkers. Give like, them a 10-day. That's true. Yeah, yeah give them a 10-day. Sign him. Yeah, Sign skip him. to my Lou. Ray uh, for Austin. Let's, let's move on to Bradley Beal because he's the first player since Kobe Bryant with 50 points on consecutive nights. He scored 53 against the Bulls on Sunday and then 55 against the Bucks. They, they lost, but you know. I am regretting my extension with the Washington Wizards. Bradley, come to Miami. We'll trade a lot for you. The Washington will be happy. And obviously, go get your money. But Bradley Beal, you would have gotten his money anyway because he's really, really, really good. And he's also only 26. It's not like he's 32. Yeah. He's just go come to Miami, baby. Like, come. Let's make this happen. <laughs> I'm just going to piggyback off that one and say, yes, I am demanding a trade. Miami would gladly pay the $30 million that yeah. Washington's paying him right now. And he's wasting away back-to-back 50-point efforts, and they lose. Yeah, Yo, man. I would be so mad at everybody wearing a Wizards jersey in the locker room. Next. I would say I am salty. You know who's not salty? Zach Levine. Because we were talking about people getting buckets or getting having bunnies. This guy won the dunk contest because he has bunnies. And he had some clutch buckets and thunderous dunks with a 41-point effort. Uh, the other night. So what what about Zach? Levine? I am in need of some help. Okay. And and Kobe White's been playing really good. Mm -hmm. The last three games, I think he's 30, 30, and 30. Uh -huh. But he needs more help, a better coach. Yo, he's he, so mad. He, he's, he's been dropping 40, <laughs> so 50, and they still lose. He's, sal he's salty. Super underrated. Yeah. Um, for Zach Levine, I am Bradley Beal. He outscored literally every other starter on his team. Mm -hmm. And the only person chipping in is rookie Kobe White. You cannot have that. You can't drop 40 a night, and then someone coming off the bench have 30, and nobody else in the starting lineup breaks like 15. That's just unacceptable, even for the Bulls, who have no expectations this year. Yeah. Poor Levine. You went to Chicago for yeah. the All-Star break, and you got to sit down with this guy. Mm -hmm. You want to tee up your interview? Yeah, the 2016 dunk contest, one of the best dunk contests yeah. ever. Obviously, this year was great, too, but we kind of just were able to relive it, yeah. and he was able to kind of tell these interesting stories of what happened uh, during the dunk contest. Let's check it out. We we knew, you know, pretty much halfway through it, it, was, it was something special and, you know, I wanted to, you know, even though I won, either one of us could have won. Hey, get out the way, get out the way, hey, get out the way, get out the way. This is the star of the show. This is the star of the show, man. I think the defending champion has backed it up. All right, Zach, appreciate you coming on the show. Sure. It's All-Star Weekend, so naturally, everyone's talking about the 2016 Slam Dunk Contest because yep. it was the anniversary like four years ago. Yeah, yeah. Now, what if someone else does an amazing dunk? Does that make you change your strategy at all? Like when AG is doing all those ridiculous yeah. dunks, you're like, okay, I gotta bring out one of my best ones right now. No, I, I didn't. I didn't switch up. I didn't switch up anything until uh, we went to the bonus round. Actually, the yeah. bonus two rounds, because you know. At the end of the day, his dunks were fifties and mine were too. Yeah. I was more worried about what I was doing. You know, I didn't know he he was all bring all that. Yeah. You know, at one point I was like, oh man, like I might be in trouble. But yeah. you know, at the end of the day, I still knew like I still have my dunks in their fifties. So now, what'd you think of this dunk? This was actually the hardest one for me to perform. It took me a while to figure out how to do it. It's yeah. Like a one eighty behind the back. It has to be cool to see the reaction. You see T Mac, Shaq, even all your teammates at one point are just going crazy. Even AG is like, all right, yeah. all right, yeah. And then Andre Cummins is just losing it. Is that's, it cool that's, that's how you can tell, you know, the dudes that are, you know, that are into it and yeah. they probably got some more dunks. But AG's like, okay, I got to bring it. Yeah, yeah. now look at Matumbo. <laughs> no, they ain't seen that before. Me and, me and Eric put on a show, man. Now, when you dunked it, I couldn't tell where you had I was your... upset because the first one I tied with one hand and I missed it. I threw it off the back of the rim. Yeah. I knew Shaq was only getting given 50s if he made yeah, it on the first yeah. one, I could tell. <laughs> Are there any dunks that you hadn't even practiced before that you did? The between the legs and the free throw line. Yeah. That was the one. Aaron did the same dunk pretty yeah. much. 
but I didn't want to mess with my routine up because mine was still, you know, it was mm -hmm. a duck as they seen before. His was on the mascot. Mine was off the bounce, yeah. so. There was nothing but, but respect between you two. Like, even after the dunk, you guys saw each other and, like, dapped each other up. Like, oh, all right, yeah. we, you guys knew at that moment you were putting on the show, right? We we knew, you know, pretty much halfway through it was, it was, it was something special. And, you know, I wanted to, you know, even though I won, either one of us could have won, yeah. you know. And that's, uh, that's the thing I wanted to let everybody know that, you know, don't discredit him because, yeah. you know, I got this last 50 because yeah. some of his dunks are better mine, but the score is only 50. You can only get 50, yeah. so. Now, what are you two guys saying right here? We're talking about, like, I don't know where you go from here. Yeah. You know, that's a 50. Mine's a 50. Like, do we do more dunks? Like, yeah. are we allowed to type thing? This is what I didn't even have planned in the routine. So this is when we started getting into the overtime, and mm -hmm. I think it almost helped me out a little bit more because, you know, I had dunks planned for, like, I had, like, six dunks, you know, that I could have put in my routine, yeah. and I just didn't put that one in there. Um, that wasn't supposed to be shown. People oftentimes debate who won. I think the thing is, like, you're right. Everyone just goes to 50. You, it's we hard. Both, we both could have won it. You know, Aaron had probably the two best dunks. Well, I can't want to say two because I jumped in the free throw line yeah. between the legs. He probably had the best dunk of the night when he went over the mascot. Yeah. It was crazy creative. Well, we already talked. Yeah. You have a lot more highlights. So we're doing this again, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll definitely sit down. We'll look at some more things. Okay. Yeah. So thank you for coming on the always, show. We're going to do always. this one more time. Yeah. But until then, it was yeah, a pleasure. My man. Thank I appreciate y'all. Beautiful job, Omar. Thank you. Great interview. The question, because Zach Levine was going up against our man, Aaron Gordon. I'm saying our man because he was on the show earlier this year. Did he get robbed? Did Aaron Gordon get robbed? So Aaron Gordon got robbed in 2016, but not as bad as he got robbed in 2020. Is Which it? is this year. Yes. Yeah. So he got robbed, but just not as bad as this year. Uh-huh. I feel you, and I agree with you, and here's a quick remedy. We get to vote for which All-Stars we want to see every All-Star weekend. The fans should have a vote for specifically the dunk contest, the event that's put on for the fans, because, of course, you're going to get, like, the homers in Miami. Yo, Derek Jones Jr. should be the winner, but then you also have the millions of people who are mad online, on Twitter, who are tweeting already about it. Throw a vote function up there, man. You yeah. have millions of people voting, and I think that'd be crazy, especially uh, on Twitter. That'd be lit. Get the people in the conversation. You're mm -hmm. watching Hoop Streams live on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and the ESPN app. We're getting you ready for the start of the Grizzlies versus the Rockets. Gary Streisky, yeah. do you think that the Grizzlies will hold down that eight spot? Uh, short answer, no, but I like to talk, so I'm going to give you a long-winded version. About 25-ish games left. They're three games ahead of the Pelicans as it sits right now. They've lost three straight. The Grizzlies have. Terrible road trip for them, so they're trending down. Pelicans are trending up. I close my eyes to help me think. By the end of the regular season, like I said, 25-ish games left. The Pelicans will have surpassed them, be the eighth seed, and give the NBA what they want. Lakers versus Zion and the Pelicans in the first round of the playoffs. Okay. Yeah. To answer your question, no. You agree with me, so, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I, I was more amazed that you had your eyes closed the entire yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. Well, that did was. I? I I got. I think I know what you were talking about. I think I kind of understood what was going on Thanks. there. Grizzlies not gonna make it. Thank you. To the playoffs. Way to surmise uh, that. <laughs> so, uh, the Phantom Cam. I'm so thrown off. If you miss what Gary was just talking about. It's all good. We got something else that you may have missed. With Phantom Cam footage, it's slow mo footage. It's beautiful. Alternate and angles. Different angles. I'm in this business Amazing. Years. I never heard of the Phantom Cam until five minutes ago. And they're like, we're going to do the years, Phantom Cam segment. This guy. Yes, has it's been very good. It's in the <laughs> business, apparently. Sense. Let's start with the Lakers versus the Pelicans. Backward headband on Alex Caruso. We talked about that go. earlier. Well, that Alter ego. Alter Comic book. It act. makes sense. No look pass to LaBreezy. But the thing is, like, why go up for the charge? Like, we've seen it for oh. 17 years. Like, I am OG. Like, That's, why? Let's you talk were about his the teammate. Emoji. What are you uh, doing? Let's, yeah, let's talk about the emoji. If what you does get that, mean? that eye emoji before 9 p.m., that can be very innocuous. After 9 p.m., all bets are off. What, oh, that, and then the devil emoji. emoji. Yo, and he was staring down Josh Hart. He said, That's why I traded you. <laughs> the fans. Oh, Judd, Judd. Judd and Leslie in the crowd, they know what's going down. Yeah. They know why they're there. They're there for LeBron versus. Zion, here is Dwight and AD are like, nah, man, I already know what's gonna happen. I they ain't don't even to need it. They don't even need to go down to the end of the other end. Of the I ain't court. trying to run. Labrizzi again. This guy knows what's coming. He's well, getting on his feet. All the fans should be getting up. All of them. You know. You Ooh. know. It's Ooh. obvious. I ain't gonna lie. I thought Buddy was about to pass gas because when you lean over like that, I'm like, yo, what's he doing? What's he doing right now? But nah, he was just trying to get a better view. Drew Holiday almost got kicked in the face. Drew like, Holiday bro. almost got a view of the bottom of LeBron James's shoe. Yeah, <laughs> does not look good at all. Uh, yeah. Let's go to 
Raptors versus Bucks. Top five jerseys Giannis. of all time. Top five jerseys, jerseys of, so of all time. You think clean? Yes. Oh, I mean, they really do look very familiar. Okay, my man's in the Fendi right there. Okay, but wealth. But what is yelling easy, stop him going to do? Okay, easy. wealth. And this is, is this a bucket? Pascal Siakam cannot, he, yeah. it's like three inches Giannis has got on him right there. Look at that form, too. And a whole bucket. A whole bucket. LeBron, or excuse me, Giannis is not losing to the Raptors again in the playoffs. He fell short last season. Ain't going to happen this year. All right, Lakers versus Celtics. This fan on the court is completely unimpressed. He must not even be knowing what's going on. My man trying to get to the point. Watch LeBron's face throughout. the entire time. Okay, KG's wait. in the building. Yo, and real talk, anybody who goes to an NBA game with just the jersey, no undershirt, you do not want to start a fight with him. <laughs> I promise yeah, no. you that they're looking for a fight. Yeah. I swear uh, to you. You know who also might be looking for a fight? Jalen Brown. But Why? Is, is he about that life? I'm no, you LeBron right now. knew the whole time that he scored on him. Man. I'm going to tell you right now, Jalen Brown ain't backing down. LeBron James is 6'9", 250, and Jalen stood his ground. Unfortunately for him, LeBron got the bucket. Yeah. It's a bucket, and everybody around him apparently was surprised. Gordon got the nice fade, too, the back of the head looking nice. <laughs> it's important, man, because you... But even the coaches have like, been there, done that. Like, nobody on his team is that impressed. Yeah. Like that. yeah, nobody's impressed. Uh, this fan is... I feel like this fan right here... He is impressed. He's like, John you can't Cena. see me. You can't the see John me. John Cena. I love that celebration. Bring what? Do you do that John's... when you? When... I don't do this ever. Have you ever, ever done do that to anybody? No, you never. You I, never. I feel like. Oh, the you were that... lying, bro, <laughs> no, man. <laughs> He's totally. You're totally. You do this all the time. I do this all the time. I don't hate it. Like I don't hate it. I think it's a good celebration, but I personally never. Do you did play it. pickup ball? No, I never did this. I can't see. I never did this, bro. If anybody did this on a pickup basketball court, I would immediately have them ejected. I would go to the 24-hour <laughs> fitness management and be like, dude, there's a dude acting like a complete joker. Nobody wants him on the court. He keeps doing this. He does not deserve to be on Get basketball court right court. now. Get him off the court. All right, you're watching Hoop Streams live on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, ESPN. The ESPN app. This is ESPN. Uh, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and company looking to convince the rest of the league that their small ball lineup works and so far so good. Gary, got another question for you. How you feeling about the Rockets going uh, small ball? Okay, so I've never really been sold on the Rockets small ball approach yep. or the fact that James Harden has to be the one and only. I mean, it hasn't worked in seasons past, right? They got one game away. CP hurt himself, and that was like the chance, right? Mm -hmm. um, I just don't see it happening again this season. There's just way too much talent surrounding them in the Western Conference, and not just talent, but teams who have size who are going to be able to stop them, and more formidably, who the Rockets won't be able to stop. Mm -hmm. Okay, they don't have any big man. Okay, good luck stopping Jokic. Good luck trying to stop That's real. Anthony Davis, and the list goes on and on and on. They're obviously going to make some noise because they have James Harden and Russell Westbrook, but they ain't going to the chip. But you know what they might be able to do? Talk to me. A Kyle Lowry through the legs. <laughs> hey, right, yeah. callback. Yeah. It's a callback. That, yeah. that might work. Yeah. Yeah. That, that <laughs> Travel. <laughs> uh, no, you showed us that it can work. You showed us that it can work. I didn't have before. basketball. It worked, though. <laughs> <laughs> it, did, it did work. <laughs> Uh, log into the ESPN app and sign in with your cable provider if you want to watch the Grizzlies versus the Rockets. You guys, this game is coming up. Mm -hmm. It's at 8 p.m. I like, but, but I do think the it. small ball lineup gives the Rockets. They might not be able to win it all, but it's the best version of the Rockets that you yep. could have had this year. They're going to maximize it. Yes, they're going to be able to maximize all their talent. Will it be enough? Probably not, but at least now Russell Westbrook kind of has a role where you can figure out how to drop 40 yeah. consistently. Um, even that sick dunk the other day against, yeah. uh, was it the Jazz or the Grizzlies? It was the Jazz. Jazz, yeah. yeah. Um, Which was, was crazy, cool. too, because a fan was chirping him on the sideline. And yeah. He goes, hey, yeah, hey, watch, watch this. this. Boom. Yak him. It's just something about Utah fans yeah. that whenever he's there, he gets into it with yeah. a person on the sideline, and he always makes him look stupid or gets him banned completely forever <laughs> yeah. from stepping foot into the arena. Uh, you talked a little bit earlier about how John Morant does not care. He is fearless. Yeah. Right? John Morant versus Harden versus Westbrook. How do you think that plays out? Yeah, so you were mentioning how Ja leads in every pretty much statistical category for the Grizzlies, and he also leads with uh, the amount of, can I say, Fs not given? You know what I'm talking <laughs> yeah. about. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because this Fs. dude is a rookie, a 20-year-old rookie, and like he's going after MVPs, champions, Iggy's. He's had not beef, but he's called out James Harden and Russell Westbrook. Even yeah. though and Steph. Even though it's a player that he yeah. models his game after, this dude isn't scared. He don't care. I don't think we expected the Grizzlies to be right now in a playoff spot, yeah. but I think everybody expected John Moran to be doing what he's doing right now, which is playing with Flash, being the bravado on the team, and like backing up literally everything he's yeah. been saying.
It's crazy. Oh, I, mean, I didn't think he was going to poke fun at like Steph and no, Harden, but I love it. I love it. I respect it because yeah. he's back to like if he was a bad player, I'd be like, dude, shut up. Yeah. yeah. But he's been amazing. But he's going to win over the year. Up mm-hmm. With his or well, he's backing his mouth up with his game. Fact. It's amazing. So if you want to watch that man put down, put up some buckets. I'm you watching. Can, averaging right like 25 this, in the last Rockets 10 games. versus Grizzlies, and guess what? This guy's going to be on hoop streams on Saturday. I am. Thank you for reminding me. In Boston against the Rockets. So watch it with Cassidy and Perk. We'll see you guys next week. Log into the ESPN app right now to watch that game. Peace.